Think what a great thing it is to be a part of something that is the team, the team, the team, the team. Let's talk about force plays and tag plays on defense. A force play is successfully achieved when a fielder has the ball in their possession, usually we want it in the mitt, and another part of their body is touching the base. Usually we want that to be the foot. Force plays become possible when a runner who is on base is forced to run to free up first base for the batter on a ground ball. If you think of it this way, on a ball hit in the air that's caught in the air, the batter is out. And therefore, first base no longer needs to be available for them. So it's only on a ground ball. But if any batter who hits a ground ball, once that ball touches the ground, First base has to be made available for that batter. And to make first base available for that batter, we have to think what other runners have to run to free up first base for that batter. So if there's a runner on first base and the batter hits a ground ball, that runner on first must run. They are forced to run to free up first base, and we can force them out at second base. Well, let's expand that a little further. What if there are runners on first base and second base and the batter hits a ground ball? Well, the runner on first base is forced to run, right? And as a consequence, the runner on second base has to run because you're never allowed to have two runners on the same base. Only one runner for, per base. So if the runner on first base is forced to run, the runner on second base would also be forced to run because they have to they have to give up second base for the other runner who's coming. And that allows you to have a force at third or at second. And first base is always a force play because the batter is forced to run. They can't hit the ball and turn around and run and sit on the bench. They have to try to be safe at first. So that's how a force play is created. Tag play, about 99% of the time, we'll talk about the exception in another video, just to keep it simple. A tag play is created, or is necessary, whenever a runner runs because they want to run, not because they're forced to run. So if a runner is running and it's not because they have to run to free up first base for the batter, we have to tag them. We have to touch them with the ball. You want that ball in your mitt, not in your bare hand. They could knock it out much more easily. We have to touch them with the ball if they're running because they're wa they want to, not because they're forced to. And in our next video, we'll talk about getting in the proper position to successfully complete a force play and successfully complete a tag play because they are different. Looking forward to it. See you then.